What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. <clears throat> and welcome to a new video in which we're analyzing BSV or Bitcoin SV, which we haven't analyzed in uh, quite some time. But today I saw that we were relatively bullish, as you can see. Apart from that, volume is also up by quite a bit. Volume uh, of BSV is also is, is always pretty high. Um, at 16% right now um, and yeah so I thought it would be interesting to take a look at it um, one thing I know for, for a fact is that the community behind BSV is uh, very loyal and, and very strong <clears throat> obviously if, if you didn't know Bitcoin SV stands for Bitcoin Satoshi Vision so um, Bitcoin SV is um, or at least the community and, and the project is about that it's the Bitcoin that was actually intended to be this way um, um, which means I think that the, the Bitcoin we know now <clears throat> has shifted away from what the vision of Satoshi was, which I mean, th there's definitely something to say in favor of that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so let's then take a look at what happened today. So what happened is that we got a big spike up. We got a big spike up to this $58 level. Um, but eventually we did not manage to break above this 26.5 level and as you can see the last few weeks ever since that 12th of may bsv has been relatively strong in this consolidation we've just been consolidating between uh, 47 dollars and the level we talked about 56.5 so we did not break above that level if we would really want to have some sort of a bull run or actually a more bullish bsv we would not even not only need to break above this level here at 56.5 but i think we would also need to break above this level right here at 58 dollars so it's pretty hard because uh, you would like to just be able to break above this one but just because you got this fib here which is respected and which is a respected fib it's it's all the way from up up there to 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 some top um, so, so that's tough, but if we would really want to, within the next weeks, have some sort of a, a bullish BSV or a really bu bullish uh, BSV, we would need to break above uh, $58. And then we can actually start to think about, I mean, 65 and maybe even 70, but uh, it's a little, too, a little bit too high, I'd say. But um, obviously we are in, in, in some sort of a bear market right now. So I do understand that even though I, I do think that even in bear markets you can have some rallies and if you compare BS3 of right now where we're at right now compared to uh, December, I mean we have dropped down quite a bit. So maybe we're due to uh, for some sort of a rally. Um, but yeah, so on to what I think is going to happen next though, I don't think we'll break that level now. I think it is more likely that we'll actually reject off of this level. Uh, drop down to $53, take a break retest off of 55 and slowly start to trend down towards that $50 and $49 level, which I do think will hold. I think we'll hold this consolidation. And I also think that there's a possibility that we do not drop all down all the way to $49, but that we uh, drop to a level higher. If anywhere in that drop down to $49, we get some bullish impulses throughout the whole market. So. I don't know if, if Bitcoin actually goes up to 32,000 or something. If that happens, we could actually, I mean, the moment that happens, I think we'll stop. This fall will stop in its tracks and, and we'll get something more bullish and we might even break above 58, uh, $58. Until that happens, or if that does not happen, I think something like this is the more likely scenario. Um, so yeah, that was a quick analysis on BSV and then some insights on it. If you do have any questions about what I said or about the analysis, uh, please let me know down in the comments. But as for now, thank you all for watching and listening. And I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.